Okay, so 550 nanometer harmonic electromagnetic wave, yeah? With electric field. Harmonic, that just means it's uh, sinusoidal, sines and cosines. Uh, in the z direction traveling in the y direction in vacuum yeah what's the frequency of the wave is the first question then we have to find omega and k yeah uh, then uh, <coughs> um, Uh, then we have to find uh, the amplitude of the magnetic field given the electric field amplitude and uh, to write both expressions of for the electric field and the magnetic field right okay so uh, fairly straightforward again I'll let you attempt so first part straightforward yeah I mean we have the uh, this is an electromagnetic wave so it's tra it's traveling at the speed of light so V is C 3 10 to the 8 meters over seconds and you know the wavelength 550 nanometers so now it's easy to find the frequency yeah? uh, wavelength multiplying the frequency should get you the speed because this is meters and this is over seconds and you know speed is meters per second so the units work out consistently as expected uh, so the frequency would be uh, just c over lambda yeah. 3 10 to the 8 over 550 times 10 to the minus 9 and uh, so what's that uh, <coughs> uh, you have 8 and 9 let's see calculator here we get 5.45 times 10 to the 14 per second hertz right so uh, this is our F. So this is F. All right. And once we know the frequency, then it's uh, really straightforward to find uh, the angular frequency. It's just two pi times the frequency. So two pi times five point four five times ten to the fourteen. And this would be, of course, in radians per second. This is angular. And uh, k, we have the wavelength. k is just 2 pi over the wavelength. How many wavelengths, how, how many uh, phases do we have? Or how many cycles per every, uh, uh, how, many degree, how many radians do we have for every uh, one full period? For every wavelength so that's 2 pi over uh, 550 nanometers times 10 to the minus 9 to change it to meters that. and then we're given that the electric field amplitude is 600 volts per meter so that's so that's so part C E zero is uh, six hundred volts per meter, and they're asking for the amplitude of the magnetic field. Well, we know that the two amplitudes are related through. We know that the electric field is a lot larger amplitude than the magnetic field by C. So if we know the electric field amplitude we can certainly find that of the magnetic field that's just one over c of that okay. so that's yeah. 600 600 over uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 
uh, <coughs> which we get um, this is 600 this is volts over meters and uh, here speed of sound is meters over seconds so the units work out to uh, volts seconds over meter squared which is Tesla and so on the calculator this will be uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla yeah and then for D we have to write an expression for both E of T and B of T given that each is zero at x equals zero and t equals zero and to put it in the appropriate unit yeah uh, so that's for point d okay well we know uh, that uh, the standard form uh, is this which way is it going it's going in the z direction um, and uh, eft bft okay so so let's do that yeah and so D will be E uh, is usually uh, the amplitude times the sine of K uh, X or K Y or whatever the case may be yeah here we have uh, the electric field is in the Z direction oh it's traveling in the Y direction okay so polarization is in the Z and the propagation is in the Y okay so that means this is as a function of Y and T time and Y uh, has to equal E0 sine uh, KY it's you know kr but it's in the y so ky minus wt plus the phase shift right now they said that at uh, th uh, location zero and time zero it's zero so if we plug this in we get e sine e zero sine epsilon which means whose angle has a sign of zero zero so that means this will give us the phase, uh, which means mm, E if this pen can write mm, Okay, so uh, E Y T well we equal E zero we have the amplitude of that wave it's six hundred let's put the units since he said put the units so this is volts over meters uh, you know because uh, v, uh, v is or uh, yeah V is the integral of E D L if this is in volts and this is in meters so this will be volts per meters it's uh, uh, the work that one unit charge has to overcome an electric force to move from point a to point b anyway this is a different matter this is you know uh, so uh, 600 sine uh, we have k we already found what k is it's uh, let me do this on the calculator here so 2 pi over 550 1.14 10 to the 7 per meters okay so uh, this is uh, ten, uh, sorry 10 to the minus 7 Oh no no, ten to the seven because uh, <coughs> yeah, and uh, so uh, 
we got sine k so k will be uh, 1.14 times 10 to the 7 uh, so this is meter to the minus 1 for the unit kx so ky so times y uh, minus wt minus uh, the angular frequency turned out to be 5.45 e to the 14 times 2 pi <coughs> this turned out to be 3.42 times 10 to the 15 so 3.42 times 10 to the 15 and this is in radians over seconds for the units times the time okay this is our e uh, okay so now let's find the b uh, b okay so uh, so in which direction is the electric field <coughs> right um, well uh, we know that this wave is propagating in the uh, y direction we know that the electric field is in the z direction so uh, we know that the pointing vector uh, the pointing vector has the direction of e cross b which gets we, this guy is in the same direction of k uh, there's one over two mu zero here but i'm not concerned about that i'm just concerned about the direction uh, so it's propagating in the it's traveling in the y direction so this is in the z so this is in the z and I know that E is in the y so I need the magnetic field to be in the uh, x or in the minus x so that I can get a propagation in the z because uh, uh, you know uh, uh, x y z uh, I need uh, y cross x to give me z but that gets me minus z so that means b has to be in the minus z so this guy has to be in the minus z so I can get a cross product result uh, sorry minus i to get a cross product result of z uh, because or x because y cross x will give me minus z and the minus sign will turn it into a z so uh, okay so now with that said i could write out the e the b the b so b uh, xt will equal to now we already found the amplitude uh, for that that's 2 times 10 to the minus 6 2 times 10 to the minus 6 tesla sine uh, k it'll be of course the same k uh, k is 1.414 times 10 to the 7 uh, y or x minus x so minus uh, minus omega uh, so this guy here is in uh, uh, meter to the minus one multiplied by meters you get nothing which is uh, how it's supposed to be so minus omega was uh, 3 4.42 10 to the 15 
and this is in radians per second you multiply it by seconds you get radians which is dimensional uh, so T yeah and so this is our V That does it.